All right, I'm here with uh, MySpace CEO Chris DeWolf. Hey, Mike. And uh, also with Travis Katz, your head of international. It, oh, he's skiing today, right? I think you put in a few hours. I was kind of hoping to get he both. He had a hard of you. time getting into a few of these buildings. There's a lot of cops outside. He, he didn't have an actual official badge, did he? So. Um, no, I think he's working on it. So first of all, the most important question, what do you think of the two-star hotel you're staying in here in Davos? Um, I particularly like the Murphy beds that come out of the wall and uh, the blankets and I burned myself in the shower. <laughs> so for people who don't know, this is a very small ski town and there's 2,500 people at this event and so everybody piles in and pays exorbitant five-star hotel rates for two-star ski lodge ho hotels and literally you have a Murphy bed? I do have a Murphy bed and there's one right next to it too. <laughs> But uh, no one's occupying that, so I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of room. So this isn't your first uh, time at the World Economic Forum? No, it's here. actually the second time. I was here okay. two years ago. And how, how is it different this year than two years ago? Um, I just think the subject matter is a lot different. Um, there's you know, More somber? Uh, definitely more somber. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone's talking about the economy two years ago. It was about um, the Internet and... Um, yes. You know, a little bit about clean energy and ecology and yeah. making everything more green. Not as much about that now. The green stuff has kind much. of been put aside to talk more about the, yeah, the, the economics. And, that, yeah. and how it affects philanthropy, how yeah. it affects media, how it affects virtually every business. And um, you know, just how it's, um, you know, we talked last night at a, a media forum on you know, how it's really been amplified to a certain degree. You know, by the media and by successful companies that are spending less money just because everyone else is. Yeah. And as they're spending less money, there's a small trickle down effect. Um, How is it affecting MySpace? You've been pretty bullish on your sales figures for this year. You've done incredible the last couple of years. Yeah, the last six months has been great. So, first yeah. half of our fiscal year uh, through December 31st have been great. And, you know, we're, we're hopeful for the next six months, but. You know, anybody that says that they can control what's going to happen in the economy is just, uh, you know, it's been proven to be wrong. So we're cautiously optimistic, but, um, you know, we're anticipating uh, fewer dollars in the future, some tough times ahead. But um, in terms of how we're positioned vis-a-vis -vis our competition, we feel great about that, uh, just given all the investments we've made yeah. into our technology. Um, and our sales force. So this is, we're right around your fifth anniversary, right? Yeah, the January was our fifth year anniversary. Okay, so launch. you didn't make the billion dollar number last year that was talked about, but if you had a, well, that, that would have been the fastest city company got to a billion, or would that have been the same as Google? I, th I think so. I think um, someone else did it in six years. So, yeah. you know, we're, we're really happy with the number. And I think if we had come out last year and said, you know, our target was 500 million, and you know, we right. blew the and number you blew, away. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just more of a matter of expectations, but you know, I think yeah. we had a great year and um, we had a great first six months and we'll see what happens over the next six months. So you guys have obviously been focused on revenue and been doing a great job with it. Um, your your user growth has continued to at uh, you know, it's, I think it was 10% for the year, on already very large numbers. Yeah, we're um, U.S., we're at 76 million. Yeah, and you were like users. 69 maybe a year ago? Yeah, something, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and as important, our user engagement is up 40% year over year. So right, people are spending a lot of time units, on the site. Yeah, 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 the number of minutes spent on the site. Yeah, have you found that MySpace Music is increasing user engagement? Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, if you look at it, you know, there's 95 million playlists that have been created. Really? Um, and that's since um, a very, very, very beta um, launch in, in, I think it was October. So yeah. it's only been around for three months. Uh, we just hired a new president, Courtney Holt, who started several weeks ago. And you know, we have a whole product plan in place, and um, you know, we're going to really build that out. And, I think that's going to have a huge impact on the site. What are some of the enhancements we'll see to MySpace Music? Right now, as a daily user, it's a little slow, a little sluggish sometimes. Playlists aren't really shareable. Charts aren't what they could be. Are some of those some of the things we'll see improved in the short term? Or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've made a lot of improvements to the player. Um, so it's, the player is pretty consistent now and, and loads pretty well. Um, in terms of charting, you know, there, there's going to be virtually every kind of chart imaginable to the top playlist yeah. charts, what are your friends listening to, what's MySpace listening to, break it down by genre, um, and, you know, making sure, it's going to be a lot more about discovery, um, so, you know, right now you get notified when your friend adds a new song to your playlist, yeah. but 
Um, you know, but I can't publicly post a playlist yet, right? Other than on my homepage of my MySpace page. But if I create a random playlist, there's no way to sort of make that public yet, right? Public to who? Uh, to anybody I want to share it with. I can't, it, isn't it, you can't actually share, at least you couldn't the last time I was lo looking. Oh, to like send a share link? Yeah. Hey, come check out my playlist. Right. Yeah. Copy it, I mean, whatever. There, yeah. There's going to be a lot of social elements that we're going to have to yeah. do, um, as well as technical elements. So, um, you know, collaborative filtering, for example. So, yeah. it'll, um, uh, MySpace will get smarter and smarter about the music that you're listening to, and not only the genres, but you know, the specific artists themselves, yeah. and then make recommendations to you. So um, and there'll also be an edit more of an editorial element too as we hire more editors um, to bring you know the high velocity uh, artists forward. So when I say high velocity, that may mean um, artists that where their songs have gotten added to a playlist more yeah. rapidly than others. Their songs have been so you see, to see trends really visited. early. Yes, you might be able to see through. trends before anyone else does, right? Exactly. So yeah. um, our editors um, will be looking at that, uh, you know, from a, from a data analytics standpoint and, you know, just from a gut feeling standpoint. You know, where do you see that going? Like mobile, social networking, with presence, uh, understanding where your friends are, maybe meeting new people based on where you are. When will you get deep into that? And obviously, what are the privacy concerns around it? Yeah, so first of all, our mobile business has grown tremendously. So all the, the promises of people accessing yep. MySpace and other sites through their mobile devices is finally Particularly on BlackBerry devices. It yeah, it's yeah. A, the fastest downloaded yeah. application of all time for BlackBerry. But And we have about 18 million unique users accessing MySpace through their mobile devices. So it's definitely mm. here. In terms of location-based um, services, um, I think there's major applications uh, for advertisers, and that's what we're sure. really excited yeah. about. And then um, you know, the whole notion of, t you know, taking photos and, you know, having the exact location stamped on those photos and being able to upload them directly, yeah. um, it's been great, um, and, you know, we have that, and then being able to write a review, since location-based services now can get you within a couple meters, you know, to the exact location that you're yeah. at, so if you're at a restaurant and have a really good meal, you know, you should be able to write a review directly yeah. from there. Um, so we're really excited about the advertising side of things. Um, in terms of... Um, finding friends or meeting new friends, um, I think that's a ways off. And um, meeting new friends based on a location-based service sounds a little creepy to me. Okay. All right. Um, well, thanks very much for your time. I know you're literally running to a session right down there. What's the session on that you're on that you're in now? Um, it's on data mining. Data mining. Yeah. Okay. That sounds really boring. Uh, no, it's actually the future of advertising. So. Oh, we're wrapping this up now. Your handler is wrapping this up. All right, thanks very much for your time. Thanks a lot, Mike. I'm here at my scheduled time to have an interview with uh, MySpace CEO, Chris Wolf, but uh, I'm being blown off for apparently somebody at the Financial Times. Not sure how long I'm going to have to wait. Not very happy about this. Definitely not just going to throw softballs out of my. I wonder if he's getting any good. Is he giving him anything good that, he, that I'm not going to get? No. Danny Dudek, head of PR for MySpace. Can I talk to him soon? Yes. I'm just going to start now. Stop. Can you What's that? You don't want to. Be that guy? You don't want me to? I can edit that out. Okay. But I, I was scheduled for now. No, you were. You were scheduled at 2.30. No, but it's, no, then you rescheduled for now, and now I'm over here waiting. I'm very busy. It looks like it. I think Kofi Annan wanted to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and also the president of Bulgaria. Where is that guy? He keeps following me around. They're desperate for press in Bulgaria. Okay, seriously? we got to get this show started. Can you stop?